What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we have episode 12 of the No Money Spend account. Very, very exciting episode. Uh, we play a lot of Unlimited, uh, trying to work our way up to Gary Payton. That card is looking absolutely amazing. I've seen a few people have him so far and I really wish that I could get him. Um, so hopefully in a few moments of time, we'll have him secured. We go through and do a lot of levels. Uh, I will admit during my uni calls today, I was doing a lot of uh, XP grinding. So I made sure I went on there, got all those XP challenges done in order to get uh, as much of these levels levels that I can. Um, I, I'm currently, I think, level 25, I'm not mistaken. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm still getting there, not the highest I want to be at the moment. There's still a lot of XP and there's a lot of timed XP that I have to do. So I have to make sure I go through and do all that. But for now, really happy with where we are and we'll get straight into the episode. Starting off here, we have a badge pack. Can't remember what this is from. I'm pretty sure this is from a triple threat game. Just really, really basic stuff. But we do get a silver uh, bullet parser, which does go for quite a bit. Was happy to get that in the end. And we do have Mr. Dennis Rodman here from the, I think it was the developer block locker code uh, we upgrade him to a uh, sapphire i haven't done to the ruby yet but we get him to sapphire and we go to level 16 now this is like obviously i think we we're level 15 obviously at the end of last episode just been absolutely pelting the xp out of here a uh, bit of gameplay here this is offline but just to show you how dennis robin is like i mean snatch blocking pink diamond michael jordan pretty happy with that uh now that was the mitchell donovan mitchell signature challenge get that out of the way get that sorted now you actually i highly recommend doing that donovan mitchell challenge uh, you'll see in a second the rewards that we get from it we're up to level 18 already. Uh, we got the Dunktober award pack, we got a prime time pack, which are very, very good to have, and another standard league pack. I tell you what, the amount of standard series one packs we get in this episode is absolutely crazy. And as well as a rim protector pack. Now, this Donovan Mitchell pack is absolutely mental. I'll open this up here. We get two diamond cards. We get a plus four steel and a diamond shoe, which is very good by itself. Then we open up another two, and we also get a Hall of Fame badge. I know it advertises a Hall of Fame badge, but we get uh Hoff Unstrippable over there. Not the greatest Hall fame badge to have but i'll still take it and we open up the dunk tober package um these cards are pretty cheap at the moment no one really wants them uh you can't do xp with them anymore maybe they're good just for limited but that's pretty much it at the moment so kind of staying away from that don't really care about those packs to be honest opening up a lot of these other ones bismack biombo who i enjoy as a gold center to run in like triple threat if i don't need to have a certain center on i'll just say chuck bismack there because he's done his job well as well as wayne allington he's a very very nice shooter from the corner a minus three on a gold card it is very very nice and uh finally here we get a plus four block as well and a gold post lockdown which is very nice as well now this is after season one i had all these cards left over in my lineup it was a really really dumb time to sell them all i should have sold them when i got mallow but i didn't which was a mistake by me we get up to close to 200 um, k which really helps out we also did the signature series two challenge i'm um, praying that we get a steph curry or any signature card we do get a signature card however it's not the one we want we get jose calderon and he's also his base which i already had anyway because i was doing the challenges anyway uh, now, this is from Collection Reward, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we got another ball here the blue marble ball from doing collection as well as going up to level 19 so you can say we're getting very close to 10k xp it's pretty crazy when you think that like level 40 is 150k and we're not even at 10k yet we're already nearly level 10 so nearly level 20 i should say so it is pretty cool uh level 19 we get the ascension board we're trying to get karan butler um we don't really get much chance with him this board like the, these boards seem to be a lot more difficult and you seem to get a lot more fouls on these boards than ever before i don't know if they've turned up the chance or like the free frequency of getting fouls but the amount of people that are getting fouls and getting fouled out actually you can see i've already got one i'm pretty sure there's my second or third ascension board i can't remember exactly we don't get karan there obviously i would I'd definitely be clickbaiting the episode as, as karan butler but we don't get him unfortunately from the uh, vault though we do get another deluxe or another series one pack which is very handy as well up to level 20 we continue going get james posey i'm pretty sure he has 75 points for 1250 xp so i'll have to get that done as well and get that xp up a little bit more we have an emerald pack here and these emerald packs are coming in handy because of the uh the nba series one or the series two uh collection xp you can basically stack these teams stack these cards as we get zach levine another one to add to that uh, that sort of team stack these teams and go into domination and literally get those challenges done so very easily um and those have challenges those series one challenges are available for the whole year or for the whole season i should say so they're not going away anytime soon james posey we unlock him now level 21 we're past 11 and a half nearly a thousand xp uh we 
get level 21, which is good as well, onto that ruby kind of tiered uh, level in the top right corner. We, I'm telling you, the amount of standard league packs we get in this episode is absolutely crazy. I was played so many triple threat games. John Stark's there, probably not the greatest to have, but he's just very, very frequent how often we're getting these as well. I uh, will get a lockdown pack, hoping for something good. We get an off ball pass, probably not a fantastic badge. Probably a pretty useless badge uh, to get at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, standard 22, series one pack again. Just uh, constantly playing triple threat. Like I probably played at least like four hours of triple threat today, just getting done those um, the signature series. Uh, not the signed one, but that's the regular signature series. Getting that done, um, just like honestly, while I was at uni, I won't I won't call it out, but while I was uh, supposed to be probably doing something else, I was, I was grinding triple threat, getting that done, and we get another ascension board for level 22 here. We're up to 12 and a half thousand XP now. You can see there another foul. Um, we flip another one over, get 250 MT, which is pretty handy. Flip another one over, and we get another foul. So we've got three of the six fouls uh, at level 22. I'm pretty sure it was. I uh, open up a 75th league pack here. We get Javante Green, another card to add to that lineup. Um, all these cards will help us in the future as well with the original owner. So I want to keep those cards around. Uh, I'll be able to keep them for like those those challenges, those weekly challenges come out. And John Morant also very very handy. Um, but yeah, those challenges that come out where it's like use 13 original owner cards. You can just use those cards. Don't have to worry about spending contracts or whatever and uh, get those challenges done pretty damn easy. Another league pack. I want. I, I wonder if someone's able to count how many league packs we get in this episode. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, RJ Barrett though, very handy as well, as well as the Jar Morant we got recently as well. After the Amethyst tier of levels now, we're on to a level 24, 16,000 XP. So we went from about three to 16,000 in I think like a day, uh, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, it's not as high as I want to be. I haven't done all these uh, reward XP challenges yet. So Danny Ainge, who we just got now, or the James Posey recently. So I have to do those. That's another two and a half thousand XP by itself. Now, this is where we start playing a bit of unlimited. Um, I went online, trying not to get, uh, trying not to match with any of my, my, my comp friends, I guess you could say. Um, we've got a group chat and we try not to uh, like match each other, but it does happen. And uh, I, I typically do lose most of those matchups. But unfortunately, uh, yeah, unfortunately I don't win those, but we do win against a majority of other people. So you can see here, we do get 12 cards for um, for gold, which is very, very handy. Very, very good here. Uh, we're gonna continue playing though. Emerald tier, get that out of the way as well. Pop that bad boy open. And another 12 cards, a guaranteed Emerald player, which is handy as well. We get Mr. Lamello Ball. Bit disappointed that he's not a point guard. Point guard, shooting guard, but we'll take it. Shooting guard, small forward. He can run in domination. We don't really have to care about that. As well as De'Aaron Fox, uh, which is pretty handy as well. 82 a point guard there. Uh, and, and the last two here as well. We get a fearless finisher, which is okay. It's not fantastic. But this is where I nearly cried today. I nearly cried today. I've come up against Dunk God. Uh, he came sixth in the uh, PlayStation 5 uh, qualifiers. Um, and, uh, and this happens. And unfortunately... We lose the game to a Carmelo Anthony buzzer beater, uh, and and that was it. But here's the team. Here is an update. Look at the team: Kyrie Irving, Chris Mullen, Glenn Robinson, Carmelo, Will Chamberlain, Ron Boone, James Harden, Devin Booker, Josh Smith, and Kristaps Porzingis. Hopefully, we can change this lineup a few episodes to go. Hopefully, we can add a Gary Payton, add some other cards, and um, I'm really happy with where we're going at the right now, though, and it should improve over the next few episodes. Big thank you guys for watching this entire episode. If you did, uh, all, the, all the love and support. I keep saying it time and time again, but I do appreciate it on every single one of these videos all of my tweets all my 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 twitch streams my tiktoks instagram all of that stuff all of it if you're interested is linked down below as well um i do appreciate any follows on all those platforms as well uh, but yeah any any likes any comments any feedback in the description uh in the description in the comments really it does uh, help me out as well so uh yeah any any sort of feedback i do love it uh, i usually put a comment at the top of the uh, top of the uh, comments that usually has a question if you guys have the time maybe answer that question down below it would uh, i'd love to have a chat with you guys as well but thank you for watching this video i appreciate you guys have a fantastic the rest of the day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.